What's good, people? It's VDUS Tech, and we are checking out the official Samsung wallet case. Now, this is the S View wallet case. It's coming in at $50. Four colors are available. Now, I've been using this case for the last two and a half hours, and let me just say, after I review this, this will probably be the last time you see this case on this channel. I am not a fan at all. Now, everything isn't all bad about this case. When you open it up, you can see that it does have, like, some microfiber lining on the inside of the case so that's a really nice touch and there's some wallet cases where you're only protected on the sides this one you do have full coverage so if you put your phone in you do get a nice snap which feels really good and you can see you are protected on all sides so that is a plus all of the cutouts align but after all like i said this is the official samsung case would be kind of weird if the cutouts didn't line up you do have a speaker cutout up here at the top and it does offer full coverage for the phone it also supports wireless charging let's go ahead and pull the charger in throw it on the charger as you can see it's charging up four percent three hours to charge it recalibrated so an hour 55 to charge so wireless charging is not an issue with this case i do like the sleep to raise feature so if you lift the screen up your screen will be exposed when you put it down it will put the screen to sleep and you do have your little s view cut out here so if you swipe left you have all of your notifications and stuff like that you can go ahead and clear all if you swipe to the right, this is where your music will be and you can answer phone calls and uh, like and alarms from this screen here. So that's a pretty nice bonus also. Now I'm a Z Flip user. So when you have this little screen here, that's kind of that's kind of dope. But overall, as a case, not the biggest fan. The color is really nice. It feels good in the hand. But the thing that bothers me the most about this case is that this will always be flapping open. There's nothing to keep the case closed. So if you, the, I, I just don't like that. Now I understand you can't put magnets there because it would interfere with the screen. But maybe if it was just like, I don't, I don't know, maybe if it had a little buckle that snaps around here and you could snap it into place or if it, had like a, a bind wrap like books do or note certain notebooks does maybe that could work but this this i do not like that at all now you do have the option it is a wallet case after all you can fit like maybe two cards three cards definitely wouldn't work so it's two cards or a card and some cash really max this case also one thing that bothers me for as most wallet cases nowadays you can use as a kickstand this one you you can't even use it like that it is not going to support your phone in either any way now if you want to stand it up that will work if you want to stand it up that way but you can't use it as a kickstand you're going to have to buy some type of accessory and with this case coming in at fifty dollars that's kind of a hard sell for me and another thing I really don't like about this case, the buttons are mush. No type of tactileness. Tactileness? Is that a word? I'm going to have to Google that. The buttons are mushy, not tactile at all. That is a huge turnoff for me. Don't like that at all. So between the case not staying closed on its own, the buttons being complete mush, and not being able to be used as a kickstand, this isn't the case for me and basically if you open it it completely takes away from it being a one hand device because if you continue to do this I don't think that is going to last very long. You're going to get a crease and I don't I'm not sure if it would fall off but it's definitely going to get an ugly crease going down here after x amount of time to Take a, now, right now, it looks really good, but once that crease starts going down the center of this case, that's going to be a huge turnoff. Now, one thing that they did do really nice, the individual camera cutouts, absolutely love that. I hate when companies do that lazy square cutout or even the P, 
The P is better than that lazy square, but here you do get the individual camera ring cutouts. And when you flip the camera, when you flip the case over, you do still have access to a majority of your cameras. So that's a nice touch. But yeah, it, oh, I mean, definitely shouldn't be priced at $50. Even for me, like $30 would be a hard sell. But hey, if you like wallet cases, I guess this could be an option for you. Not an option for me, but hey, to each their own. It's Redux Tech. I'll catch you on the next one. Later.